Wow, what a day. I can honestly say that this is the day that photography has changed. So today, Sony revolutionized photography as it's revolutionized photography before by introducing the Sony A9 III. Magnificent camera, 24.6 megapixel sensor, capable of photographing 120 frames a second. But what makes this even more incredible is that it does so with a global shutter. Now the global shutter, if you don't know what it is, is essentially a shutter without any mechanisms and it captures all the pixels at one time and unloads them all at one time. What this will do is avoid any kind of movement or uh, rolling shutter, as you might have heard back in the day. Essentially, you, you're freezing action like you never could freeze action before. And you can freeze action so well, this camera is capable of a shutter speed, get this now, a shutter speed of 1 80th of a thousandth of a second. And it's capable of shooting 120 frames per second for about 1.6 seconds. It's just uh, astounding. So. This is something we've got to look forward to as we move forward. It's going to be an incredible opportunity for photographers that do wildlife and sports to be able to capture things that no one else has ever seen before because this camera operates faster than the eye and the finger can operate in regards to shooting shutters in the past. You can do 120 frames a second without the shutter blacking out. This is unheard of. You can continually keep your eye on the subject and not have any blackouts. You'll have an indicator inside the viewfinder, which just tells you that all the shutter is going and it goes so fast, it's just gonna be the indicators on the whole time. Now you don't always have to shoot at 120 frames a second. You can regulate that down to 60 and 30 and different speeds, but if the need is there to use a fast shutter speed and to shoot a lot of frames per second, this camera has the capability of doing that. And did I mention that it's capable of syncing with flash at every shutter speed. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I think the creative photography that can be done for fashion and other things where you can sync the flash speeds at a much higher shutter speed. It's gonna change everything, going to change everything. The advantage of this shutter is it offers zero distortion. So if you got anything that's swinging like a, a golf club or uh, a car moving across the frame or a person walking across the frame or running across the frame. You'll no longer have that exaggerated feel that came with the other shutters. That was also known as kind of a jelly shutter or rolling shutter. That's a thing of the past. Now you're gonna capture perfectly distortion-free images as fast as you can push the button. Another feature they're adding to this camera is recognition AI and predictive AI where with a human being, it's looking at auto tracking, which is already really good in their autofocus, and actually predicting where the subject's going and keeping that focus tack sharp during those whole 120 frames per second. We're talking super speed autofocus. Absolutely gonna be fantastic. This is only capable, and the only possible way of doing this is with putting better processors inside the camera. And to do this, Sony has installed a Bionix XR processor, which is eight times faster than anything they've had in the camera before. It can do the eight thousandths of a second, and you have what's called speed boost too. So if you want, you can shoot at slower speeds, say 60 or 30 frames a second or even lower, and all of a sudden you see that the action needs to take place. All you've got to do is push a lens button or a button on the back of the camera, and boom. Now you're up to 120 frames a second for as long as you want, and then you can let off of it. So you don't have to use that 120 frames per second, except if you see the opportunity that you need that particular boost. Let's just say you've got a, a, a football player running and he wants to catch that ball and you see that's gonna happen, just push that button. Now you're shooting at 120 frames a second and let go as soon as that's done. Amazing. One of the cool features this camera has is pre-capture. And pre-capture allows us to be able to capture continuously X number of frames or X number of seconds worth of frames prior to taking the real picture. So here's how it works. I've got a bird on my bird feeder and I wanna be able to catch him as he flies away. So I set 
my pre-capture to say five seconds. And I'm aiming, and as long as I push the button halfway down, the shutter release button, I am now recording basically a loop of frames. And as soon as he takes off and I push the button all the way down, those previous 10 frames are added to whatever I shoot while the, press, the button is pressed down. And I now have the bird taking off where I was never able to have that bird taking off before. So this is pre-capture. It's going to do all sorts of cool things for us in regard, especially to action photography and wildlife photography. There's also some very good video features uh, in the new camera, the Sony A9 III. You'll have distortion-free 6K oversampling for 4K 60P movies. 4K 120P movies without cropping on the sensor. Amazing stuff there. There'll be 10-bit 422 all I, 16-bit raw output, S Cinetone and S Log 3, as well as dy dynamic active mode stabilization. So all these on top of all the other features will make this a great video camera also. Let's talk about autofocus. Autofocus has 759 points covering 95.6% of the viewfinder and phase detect so you'll be able to move those focus points where you really want it and narrow that down, but you have the focus points across pretty much the full sensor, so you're never going to miss a shot. And it focuses really well in low light at minus five EV. Now let's talk viewfinder. The viewfinder is a 9.44 million dot OLED EVF, electronic viewfinder. It's got 0.9 magnification, 41 degrees field of view and a diagonal at 240 frames per second. 120 frames per second at the highest display quality with a 24 millimeter high eye point. This will be really great. It's a beautiful viewfinder and will just allow you almost to be looking kind of what we used to see in our DSLRs. So that should really be good and there's no blackout, remember. Uh, the body has changed a little bit too. There's a new ergonomic grip. There's a quick response and repositioning of uh, the buttons as we know them. Uh, and there is a new button, a C5 button, uh, located on the front of the camera. And this will allow you to be able to set that, for example, to hit the super burst mode uh, when you're doing um, fast uh, capture photography. It also has wonderful and new uh, weather sealing uh, to improve its resistance to uh, dust and moisture. So look for that at the same time. Now, another thing, what would all this be if there was an image stabilization built in? We now have up to eight stops image stabilization built into the camera. Um, that's incredible too. Uh, you can you know, now hold long lenses and or shoot handheld at ridiculously low speeds and know that they're gonna be in focus. So this is going to also be something that we can look forward to now and into the future. There's a four axis multi-angle LCD screen on the back that's touch sensitive. So that will help everybody. You can use the 1.4 and your 2.0 converters with this camera. And in addition, they made a vertical grip for this camera, which will mimic everything that's on the horizontal grip. So when you put the new vertical grip on, the C5 button, the shutter release button, everything feels just like it would if you are holding the camera with the grip in the horizontal position. So uh, they've worked hard on the ergonomics. That's something uh, they have, many photographers have been critical with Sony on, and uh, now they've addressed that. So you got a bigger grip and uh, it's going to feel good in your hand. Also, it uses uh, the four different types of cards, the standard SD cards and type A cards. I believe they're type A cards, so I have to check on that, but you can either use both, similar to what they have in some of their other existing cameras at this point. Now, the price for this, you might think it's gonna be outrageous, but the price is $59.95 and it'll be available in the springtime of 2024. In addition to all this goods, this Sony has also announced that in the next few months, there will be upgrades for the A1 and A7S II cameras, bringing some of the functionality in those cameras up to par with some of the newer products that they've had out. I'm really looking forward to this myself. 
Focus breathing is one of those. I'm really hoping they put focus stacking in on the A1. The A1 is my favorite camera I've ever had. So uh, it's been very good. You know, Sony's strategy has been to just use one mount and they started the E-mount almost 20 years ago. And now they've got a full breadth of lenses. They were, people were very critical of the lens offerings that Sony had back in the day. Well, now they have lenses for just about everything you can imagine and today, they also introduced a 300 millimeter 2.8 lens that will be selling for about $59.95 also. So this is another major advance. Now they have three big primes with big f-stops on them, but a 300 millimeter 2.8 is just a fabulous uh, uh, lens, uh, one that can be used by a lot of people. And it has a button on the lens in its fixed collar area where you can push that button while you're shooting pictures and it automatically increases the vocal length by going to APS-C size mode on the sensor. So it's pretty cool that that's all integrated into uh, the camera. So it's going to be an exciting time. Um, there's a lot of other things that will be coming to light. Uh, there's a heck of a lot of YouTubers out there. Some of them have their hands on these cameras at uh, the press junket, which uh, I didn't go to. Uh, but I look forward to getting a camera for review sometime in the spring. I hope it's early spring. But, you know, a marketing department's always pretty clever when they say available in the spring, which could be March, April, whenever. Um, and I think one of the things that we should take note here is the fact that um, Sony took a big chance here. Uh, normally, camera manufacturers don't announce cameras unless they're ready to deliver them in the next four or five weeks. Uh, by doing this major announcement, specifically because it's got the global shutter, every photographer is going to want the global shutter. That's going to be the new big thing. We've talked about it for years. It's now here in a full-fledged camera, and that's going to stop sales at the holiday season for Canon and Nikon, and if it doesn't stop it, it's certainly going to slow it down. It's a risk. It's also going to slow down sales uh, for Sony cameras, but Sony's got a lot of other cameras in their stable that uh, you can purchase and I've got a, a stable of them myself which I can use but that's a it's a big challenge when a company does that so uh, that's probably one of the things they wanted to do was you know knock this out of the park put it out there before the rumors got ahead of itself global shutter is it's going to be the big tool for everything. It's going to change photography. Everybody's going to have it eventually, but this is the new big stepping stone. I think photography has now reached a new pinnacle in you know, the golden age, as I would call it, which we're in right now. And we'll be offering photographers the ability to photograph images like they've never been able to do before. Sony, congratulations. I look forward to working with this camera possibly even owning it, and I can't wait to put it to the test on some of the more challenging things that I like to photograph. I'm thinking living here in Indianapolis that the Indy 500 might be a lot of fun to photograph with a camera like this. Anyway, everybody, thank you for hanging in there with me on this long announcement. I appreciate your loyalty at PhotoPXL. Please hit the subscribe button so that our numbers can go up. I appreciate that very much. I'll see you again on my next video. Take care.